Quills and Thrills by Kelly Hashway. Forests are homes to many animals, but there's one forest creature that gives off an odor and makes a rattling sound when it feels threatened. No, it's not a cross between a skunk and a rattlesnake. It's a porcupine. Porcupines are covered with quills, about 30,000 on average. The quills cover most of the porcupine's body with the exception of the face, stomach, and the inside of the animal's legs. You probably know that rattlesnakes shake their tails to scare off predators. It's like a warning signal. Well, porcupines do something similar. When a porcupine is approached by a predator or is feeling threatened, it rustles its quills. This creates a rattling sound as a warning sign, telling other animals or even humans to back off. But the sound isn't the only warning. When a porcupine raises its quills like this, it produces an odor. So the animal uses both sound and smell to ward off enemies. If a porcupine is attacked, its quills act as protection. You may have heard rumors that porcupines can shoot their quills at attackers. This isn't true. What actually happens is when a porcupine tenses the muscles around their quills and makes them stand up, the quills become loose. If an animal gets too close to the porcupine and brushes up against it, the quills will detach and stick into the attacker. The quills aren't poisonous, but they have multiple layers of barbs, like barbed wire, which makes them painful and sometimes difficult to remove because they embed themselves into the attacker's skin. But the interesting thing about quills is that they are coated with antibiotic fatty acids that help speed up the healing process. Why? To protect the porcupine in case it accidentally pierces its own skin. A porcupine's quills will grow back after losing them, but it does take several months. So, if you ever find yourself in a forest and you hear a rattling sound followed by a strange odor, beware. Finding yourself on the other end of a porcupine's quills may be more thrills than you're looking for.